Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. I had posted this clue on Facebook and Instagram asking you guys to guess what bottle I was going to make this week. Number one was the crown with the word king in it for the king of rock. Two was the guitar, one of the ones he used. And three were the three names of stars that share the same birthday as him, January 8th. If you guessed Elvis, you got it right. Let me know down below how many of you guessed it right. Elvis Presley DIY Bottle Aloha Jumpsuit Inspired Requested Upcycle Quick reminders to please turn on your notification bells to get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's get started. Taking some air dry modeling clay and a roller, I flattened out a big enough piece to make the collar. You don't want to make it too thin because it has to stay up on its own. Using a ruler, not for measuring, but for straight lines, and the back side of an X-Acto knife, I cut a rectangular piece out. You want it to go around the top of the bottle and meet in the front. Now fold the top of it as you see here. Do not make a crease. I know you see the bottles already painted, but that was a mistake on my part. You want to do this with the bottle clear. You'll see what I mean later on. Now you want to start securing it to the bottle. Try and smooth the edges that connect the bottle down as best as you can. Let it completely dry before the next step. Now it's time to sand. I glued 80 grit sandpaper onto a popsicle stick to make it easier for me to do this. You want to smooth out where the clay meets the bottle and wherever the clay cracked when it dried. This is where I realized it was a mistake to paint the bottle first, as the paint gets ruined when you sand. And no, you just can't repaint it because it won't come out even. It leaves a noticeable mark. Make sure to get those edges nice and smooth, but don't over sand. Oh, and make sure to wear a mask or something to cover yourself from breathing in the dust. Very important. Dust the bottle off really well and now paint the whole thing, including the collar, with white matte acrylic paint and a pouncer brush. I also use the brush for the hard to reach areas. Let that dry and give it as many coats as needed to get the desired look. Seal it with whatever sealer you'd like. I use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge for this bottle. Now I will prepare all the embellishments. I wanted to cut his face and put it in the center of the record. Using the cap of one of my spray bottles, I traced around it with a pen. <laughs> These are stickers by the way. Once that's done, cut it out where you marked it. Now peel and stick it to the center of the record. I did this before placing it on the bottle, but my wonderful camera didn't record the footage. <laughs> I used a thin brush and gold glitter glue to outline all the gold lines on the record. This is what it looks like when you're done. Let that dry. Next is the eagle. I printed the eagle out at 70% size and cut it out. And the last thing to prepare is the stars and oval embellishments that will go all over the bottle. Take some painter's tape and stick it to itself with the sticky side up. Place it onto the table and start sticking the stars to it. Using gold metallic paint and a tiny pouncer brush, I painted all the stars. Do the same thing to the flat back oval gems. 
after they are dry, I gave them two coats of the gold glitter glue to match the rest of the bottle. Peel and stick the record onto the front of the bottle. I decided I wanted to add some more paint to the bottle. Using gold metallic paint and a pouncer brush, I painted the edge of the collar all the way around, the rim, and the bottom of the bottle. Once that dried, I added the gold glitter glue to all three, the rim, collar, and bottom of the bottle. Let that dry. Grabbing the eagle cutout and some painter's tape, I positioned the eagle where I wanted it and placed tiny pieces of tape to hold it in place. Do not press the tape on the bottle hard, just enough to hold the piece in place. Taking 3mm gold flat back half pearls, Mod Podge, and a thin brush, I outlined the whole eagle. Do not, I repeat, do not get any glue on the paper. If you do, stop and clean it off. You don't want the paper to stick to the bottle. You are just using it as a guide. Right here, I decided I didn't want the claws as they didn't fit, so I folded them and continued all the way around until it was completely outlined. Using 4mm rhinestones in the colors deep red and blue, 3mm gold flat back half pearls, and 10 by 5mm oval gems, some Mod Podge and a thin brush, I filled the eagle in. I used the picture as a reference, but I took my own creative liberties. It's not meant to look exact, just enough to get the idea. I decided to add 6mm rhinestones in the colors deep red and blue as well. I created the tiny wings on the collar using 3mm flat back gold pearls, 2mm rhinestones in the colors deep red and blue, Mod Podge, and a thin brush. Using the same 3mm flat back gold pearls, I outlined the bottom of the bottle. Alternating between 4mm deep red and blue rhinestones with the 3mm gold pearls, I outlined the record. So blue, gold, red, gold, so on and so forth. Lastly, if you're not completely beat after that, <laughs> add all the stars and 3mm gold pearls to the collar and all over the rest of the bottle. I also added a red and blue star to the collar to tie the whole look together. Once all that is done and you let it dry, the bottle is finally complete. And here it is, all done. I don't think I have to tell you how time consuming this bottle was to make, but man am I glad I took the time because I absolutely love the way this one came out. I have to say, this is now one of my favorites. Thank you for requesting this one. As I said at the beginning of the video, I made this based off of the jumpsuit that he wore at his Aloha shows, hence why people call it the Aloha jumpsuit. But the original name was 1973 American Eagle. I believe there were two versions of this suit made. I always do some research before designing a bottle to see what jumps out at me, and when I saw this jumpsuit, well, you already know. <laughs> that is all the inspiration I needed. I wish you guys could see it in natural light because as always, the camera is not doing it any justice. Anyways, I hope this DIY inspired you and gave you ideas for your crafts. Let me know what you thought about it and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Remember, if you try and recreate the look, don't rush and make it your own. You don't have to add the collar or maybe use another material that's easier for you to work with. As always, be creative and create what makes you happy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the channel grow. And if this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.